tonight on The Biggest Loser. After last week's shocking team switch, we're about to change up these teams right here and right now. And an emotional weigh-in which sent Sarah home. Sarah, I'm so sorry you've fallen below the red line. You'll be going home. It's okay, Dad. The remaining contestants must deal with temptation in an unexpected way. This week's temptation is all about luxury. Oh, boy. Then, at the last chance workout, I surprised the teams. It looks like you guys are paying for all those luxuries. With a challenge that could decide who stays, you are playing for a one-pound advantage and who goes home. <laughs> and later, one contestant's decision leads to surprising consequences. That's kind of putting all your chips on the table, right? Ah. Oh. Walking on the beach, there's cabanas and a tiki hut. There's no flags. There's not a finish line. I'm like, what's going on? Welcome to week six. We are now officially halfway through this competition. <laughs> this competition has been brutal for all of you. You're working out constantly. You're tired. You're sore. I bet you could all use a massage right now, huh? Uh, yeah. I mean... I ache all over. I would pay cash money right now for a massage. You could be getting your wish. Oh, boy. Because this week's temptation is all about luxury. Okay. I mean, out there in the real world, everyone enjoys luxury. But the problem is, the more you slack off, the more weight you put on. You have to choose the right balance between luxury and losing weight, especially right now. It's time for the Biggest Loser Luxury Auction. Yeah. You all get 500 Biggest Loser bucks to bid on all kinds of luxury items. Highest bid wins. You will not be bidding as teams. You will be bidding individually. So you guys ready? Yes. yes sir. Let's dive right into it. I love auctions. I've been around auctions all my life. Horse sales, cow sales. buy one, boys sell it by the pound. You know, rebuild by one, rebuild by one, rebuild by one, rebuild by two, two dollars. Who give me three? It's a fun atmosphere. You are absolutely going to love this item. For six grueling weeks, you've been training for hours every single day. Well, you're gonna get a full spa day, and that includes. A massage, a facial, and a mani-pedi. Yeah! <laughs> it's all courtesy of one of the top spas here in California, Burke Williams. Whoever gets this prize, you'll get to take someone with you. Wow. The opening bid starts at 20 Biggest Loser bucks. Let's start the bidding. 20. Lauren says 20. Do I hear 30? This $30 right here, Bob. <laughs> He's just running me up, Bob. I'm going to go by myself. I don't really do the many petties or whatever they're called, but I'm going to run them up a little bit. I'm going to make them spend more money on it than they're supposed to. All right. Anybody going for 40? 40. 40 dollars for Felicia. I'm out. Do I hear 50? All right, we're going once, going twice. So for 40 hey. biggest loser bucks for Felicia. Who are you going to take with you? I'll take Jackie. Jackie, you're going to get to go on a whole spa treatment, and you didn't get to spend one of your Biggest Loser bucks. Oh, no! The next item up for bid is to have a one-on-one -on -one with me at my house. Me, please, me, 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 me. We're going to work out. This is a prize that I absolutely want. The sit-down with Bob Harper's one-on-one -on -one is priceless. We are opening this bid at 50 bucks. Let's start the bidding. 50. 50 with Jackie. 60. Six. Ooh. Oh, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> 70. Uh, 70 with Jackie. I'm sorry, Eric. Do I hear 80? Going once, going twice. Yeah. I'm all yours, Jackie. Oh. The next luxury item up for bid is going to help you and your family get active together. Trek bicycles for you 
and three of your loved ones. Ah. That's worth $4,000. Let's start the bidding. $10. Kobe for 10. 20. We got Rob for 20. 40. 40 for Lewis. 50. $50 going once. $50 going twice. So, yeah. to Rob, the next item will help you eat well at home. Our partners at KitchenAid are going to hook you up with over $5,000 worth of equipment. Wow. The opening bid for this is $30. 90. 90. $100. 130. So, this next item is hot. It's a trip to the Bahamas. Yeah. You and three other family members stay for five nights at the iconic Royal Towers of Atlantis, Paradise Island. The opening bid is 60 bucks. Let's start the bidding. 500. You're going to the Bahamas. <laughs> Bye, Steven. <laughs> See you in the Bahamas. I'm thrilled because I had the perfect prize. I could share it with my kids, who I miss dearly. <laughs> I can't wait to go. All right, Steven, you're done. You spent all your bucks. Sit. But everyone else, you're still in this game. Listen to this. While you're all getting smaller, this next item actually gets bigger. You are bidding on what we call a growing pound. It's a one pound advantage for you and you alone. But every week you don't use it, it grows up by a pound. Oh, wow. That's a big thing. I got 370 bucks left. I'm going to try to get this. This is it. This is that advantage in this game that I really want. You can wait to use it for up to five weeks. So it could end up being a five pound advantage on the scale. We're going to start this bid at 100 bucks. Oh, wow. Let's start the bidding. 500. 500. Yeah. For Troy. This is absolutely the best prize at the auction, hands down. And I have it. It is all mine. Dang, Toy. Not playing Just like with it. Just like cat-like reflexes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so Steven, Toy, you guys are done. But everybody else is still in the game. Next prize. You have a chance to bring a piece of home to you. You can fly in one of your loved ones oh my God. in for a night. I immediately know this is what I want. I miss my boyfriend, Matt, so much. And it gets better because you won't be staying at the ranch. Oh, my God. You are bidding on a one-night stay at a world-class hotel, the Langham Huntington in Pasadena. All right, guys. The opening bid is going to be 100 bucks. Let's start the bid. Whoa! Aaron! Aaron! Sorry! God, he's people. This is not how you do an auction. These people are going all in. I mean, that's the biggest loser auction for you. I lost another one. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> There's still a lot of money on this board. Who's feeling lucky? Because you're about to bid on... Uh-oh. Wait. What's in the box? Could it be a car? It could be a pound advantage for your team. Maybe it's a cheeseburger. It could be you gain five pounds. Or it could be nothing. Coming up. Dig in deep. You want to walk in that way and you want to kill it. Jackie collects on the prize of a lifetime. How did I let this happen to myself? Because, Jackie, you losing your dad is where it all came from. Then... What are you doing? A change of plans at the last chance workout. What are you doing? I saw you from afar. You're about to bid on a mystery prize. Ooh, oh, mystery God, box. What is in there? I am a big fan of game shows of years gone by when they brought out mystery boxes. I want what's in that box. 
I can't tell you what it is. It could be turkey. I'm saying it could be a slice of pizza. Mystery prize, I just get this gut feeling. The opening bid is $40. Let's start the bidding. Five hundred. Kobe, you just bid $500 on a box. You have no idea what's in it. You know what? Let's just see what happens. Sitting like a regular auction, it's against everything that I've ever learned at an auction, but you know what? We're not at a regular auction. We're at the biggest loser auction. 500. Put it on me. Are you ready? Oh my yes, God! Sir. Yeah! You got immunity! Woo! I've got the immunity. I am pumped. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that like changes games. And I couldn't be no happier. Colby, your weight still counts for your team's overall percentage this week, but you will be safe no matter what. Cool, Colby! Congratulations. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good prize. Well, the auction's over. You guys got some really good luxuries here. Jackie, I'll see you really soon. I can't wait, Bob. The rest of you, enjoy those luxuries, and I'll see you back at the ranch. Everything you got! Everything! Go! I like the way that looks, sir. I like that commitment, Rob. I like that commitment, Rob. It's week six, and my team has lost four out of the five weigh-ins. Now I find out two of my team players are spending a day at the spa. 14, 13, 12, show up. We have to be prepared for this week. Team Jen definitely presents a challenge. We're going to fight harder than we've ever fought to get a win this week. OK, again, drop. Pop, and under, stand, good, reset, one more. Hey, girl! Nice, Eric! Hey, girl. Come on! Kobe, is it a joke? All right, Kobe, let's put on weight. We're all gonna add a little weight. Well, like right now, I, I feel like, you know, I'm trying to play the game at both ends, physically, and I'm trying to look strategically down the road to try to put myself in a good place so that I can be here for the top three. Show me what you got. But then, you know, Jen is just, She's like, you need to get your butt to work. No. Again. Kobe has immunity, and trust me, I'm well aware that it's in his best interest to take the foot off the gas a little bit. I don't want you to think about your, your mystery box, your victory of this immunity as a free pass. You know, we can be strategic about it, yeah, but at the same time, it's like, I want you working, because my biggest concern is if we hold you back, it affects the team. Exactly. You know what I mean? Go, 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 go! We're going 30 through. That's 40. We're going to 30. Let's go. Keep going. Woo! Show up, baby. Show up. Y'all acting like y'all want to be here. And knowing that Toy and Colby are basically safe this week, we've got a lot to make up for, and it's going to happen right now. Two, one, go! We have no choice but to go as hard as we can possibly go. So I don't think that anybody on Team Delvet wants to lose anymore. We're gunning for Team Jen. We, we want to work harder than them. We want to work smarter than them. And we want to lose more weight. I love what you bring into this house right now. I love it. My boyfriend's coming. Oh, I heard. Monday. Counting down the minutes. All right, Aaron, come on. Dial in, baby. Let's go. So Aaron has won a date with her boyfriend at the auction. And that's all well and good, but she's distracted. So here's yet another luxury that can hurt us at the weigh-in. But let's be honest, I'll be burning a lot of calories before that weigh-in. <laughs> I mean, if you can handle. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Strong, explosive, nice job. Guys, having a good week here is a choice. Hey, Toy, let's talk about that growing pound. Yeah. I say we don't use it the first week. That's what I was thinking. You can't. In my time in the show, I've never experienced this growing pound. And more than even Colby, I feel like Toy is the one with the biggest advantage. It's like worth three times its weight in gold. The stakes are high for me because, you know, I still have a lot of weight to lose and I'm not ready to go home. Okay, I'm telling you, this is your week. Right now, it's really competitive. So as far as gameplay is concerned, I want to make sure that I use it and don't waste it. I, I just pray that I'm going to make the right decision. Okay, babe. Coming up. Roberto, you got to pick up that speed if you want to win this for your team. Come on, Aaron. He's coming. 
And later, this is the part that sucks. A turn of events that changes the game. Oh, my God. Hi, Jackie. Hey, Bob. Welcome to your luxury. It's Bob Harper. Bob Harper. Like, who gets to go to Bob Harper's house? And not as a team, not with other people, by myself. Jump on that rower and, and just do... get a little warmed up. Okay. Bob Harper is Biggest Loser. He's been here since day one. To now actually have him as a trainer for a day, I think is amazing. Up, boom, drop. Come on, Jackie. Push. This is the intensity that you've got to be working out. I'm looking for fast speed. Eight step up. Ugh. One. Pop. Big pull. That's it. Push, push, push. Be tight. Ugh. Six. Two more. Seven. Last one. Ugh. Eight. Got it. Jump on that assault bike. Push, Jackie. Ugh. Yes. Dig in deep. Ugh. Girl does not want to go home. You want to walk him that way and you want to kill it. Ugh. Let it go. Walk away. Absolutely money well spent. I would have easily gone for all 500 for this experience. And I got a bargain at 70 Biggest Loser bucks. You did a really good job at that workout. Oh, thanks, Bob. I want you to just kind of, like, talk me through and remind me why you wanted to come on this show in the first place. My kids don't know the real me, I feel like. Um... I grew up with my dad because my mom had issues that she had to deal with. And, you know, my dad saw that and knew that I needed more. And, you know, he he took me and I live with him. But, uh, sorry. My dad died and I was 26 and it was a heart attack out of the blue. And I had a really hard time with losing him. My dad was always my coach. My dad was a marathon runner. He ran the Boston Marathon. So my athletic side definitely came from him. So, I felt really alone. And, um, you know, I guess I just turned to food and, you know, making really poor choices. Our daughter, Kaylee, you know, struggles because we struggle. You know, she's only 12 and I haven't set a good example. You know, it's time to change that. It's time to be strong and teach her healthy habits. Like, how did this, how did I let this happen to myself? Like... Because, Jackie, you lost <sighs> your coach. You losing your dad is where it all came from. You just didn't have that person in your corner. And what I want you to be able to start to think about is that person that can be in your corner right now is you. I put you through that workout because I want to push Jackie as hard as I can. When you are sitting at home watching this show with your kids, I want your daughter to be sitting beside you and being like, that's my mom. That is going to give her the strength to be able to go, you know what? If my mom can do this, I can do this. I want to be just like my mom. I want that too. Come on. Last chance workout. Ah! You go, you go, you finish. Give me a punch up on that speed. Drive, 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 drive. What are you doing? What are you doing? I saw you from afar. It looks like you guys are paying for all those luxuries. Oh, huh? snap. This cannot be good. Get ready, because you guys are going to participate in your next Last Chance Challenge. Right now? Yep, right now. <laughs> the team that wins this Last Chance Challenge gets a one-pound advantage at the weigh-in. Here's how it's going to work. Three players will compete for each team. The three of you will flip a 320-pound tire 50 feet. Then one of you will do 50 step-ups. When they finish, all three of you will flip that tire back, and one of you will do another 50 step-ups. First team to finish wins. All right? I'll give you a minute to decide your three. On Team Dovet, it's going to be myself, Felicia, and Roberto. All right, guys, you ready? Team Jen decides to put Kobe on the tire, Lauren, and myself. All right, remember, you are playing for a one-pound advantage at the weigh-in. It begins in three, two, one, go! <laughs> we are off! Right on it, right on it, there we go. Control that, control that. Down and go. 
and I am just all man beast when it comes to flipping tires. Again, come on. I need another flip. I need another flip. Lauren. Team Jen is over it. And Lauren steps. Look at me. Look at me. Team Jovette's got to get this thing going. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa. And they have made it. All the way up. up. All the way up. I know Lauren has a slight lead, but I'm pushing at my max capacity. Lauren is in the lead right now. Steven's pushing hard. And I know how Steven is. Steven will almost kill himself to win something. And I'm thinking, he's behind me. I cannot stop. Double time right now. Double time. You're only four behind, Steven. You got to fight through it. Lauren is almost done. When Do I not stop, here. Lauren. Hey. Just let me get back to the tower. Let me get back to it, Lauren. One more, one more, one more. Mike, two, get ready. Yeah. Team Jen is done. Yeah. Team Jose is done. Go, go, go. Steven, get in there. Remember, you still have 50 steps. Yeah. Team Jolvet, you're still in this. You got to go. Yeah. Go, Aaron, go. Aaron is doing the 50-step up. Once the tire flips over the line, I realize, uh-oh, it's all on me now. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. That's it. Go, go, go. Roberto's got to make up for lost time. Pick up speed, Roberto. That's it, Aaron. You're looking good, babe. So I'm trying to get into rhythm, but it's getting nerve-wracking hearing how close Roberto is to me. Ah! 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 Come on, Aaron! He's coming! He is coming! Ah! Ah! So I got about 15 more to go. I kick it up a notch. Ah! 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 Aaron, don't you stop! I need five reps, Aaron. That's five. five. Go. Roberto, you got to pick up that speed if you want to win this. Jen wins the last chance challenge. Good job, baby. Erin, I reckon that night with her boyfriend paid off because good God. Wow! Good job, Erin! Good job. <laughs> we lost. That ticks me off more than anything. We all know how important that one pound might be this week. been the week of luxury and I think that everyone's anxious to see what kind of effect it's had. For Team Jen, you know, Erin has spent a portion of the week off the ranch with her boyfriend. Hi. Which is worrisome for me because she's missed some time in the gym. But Team Dalvet has two players, Jackie and Felicia, spent almost an entire day getting spa treatments. It's been an amazing week. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have to think that if anybody's gonna be hurt by these luxuries, it's gonna be Team Dalvet. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed your luxuries this week because it all ends tonight. The only thing that matters in this house is how much weight you lose on this scale. And tonight, there's a yellow line. The two players with the lowest percentage of weight loss on the losing team will be up for elimination. The remaining players will vote to send one of you home. Now, Toy, you had an unbelievable luxury this week. You have that growing pound. What did you decide to do? Uh, I decided not to use the pound and let it grow for another week. Jan, what do you think? We talked in length about it, and we're betting on Toy this week. We're going to keep that pound. I'm really surprised Toy didn't use her growing pound. She has a history of not putting up big numbers. Personally, I would have advised her to do it. I don't know what Jen is thinking. Team Jen, you won the last chance challenge, so we're going to start this way in off with a one pound advantage for Team Jen with a percentage of 0.07%. Let's get down to business. Colby, let's yes, get you up sir. here first. I mean, I know the team, they've got to be thinking, you know, what's he going to do? You don't want to do good for your team. It's kind of a tough position to be in, morally. Hello, Mr. Immunity. Hey, Mr. Bob. How are you? Good. Well, you won immunity at the auction. Yes. However, your weight loss will affect your team. All right, Colby, let's see how you did. Your previous weight was 282 pounds. Your current weight is.
how's that been comparative to the rest of the weeks? I just was thinking, thank God you have immunity. I haven't had many bad weeks. Except the immunity week. Except for immunity. You've lost four pounds. No matter what happens tonight, you are safe. So let's see your percentage. All right, for Team Jan, we're at 0.35%. Colby, we're going to take your name off the board, but your weight still counts. Colby drops four pounds. Not bad. Not Colby. Sometimes your body gives what it can give, but is it enough to help keep my team safe tonight? All right, now the teams are even, so we're going to be weighing you guys in side by side. Up next, Roberto and Lewis. All right, Lewis, your previous weight was 260 pounds. Your current weight is? 250 pounds. You lost 10 pounds. Bam! That right there just happened. Roberto, your previous weight was 291 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 283 pounds. You lost eight pounds this week. Eight pounds. I'll take it. All right. Let's look at our percentages. Team Jen. Mm -hmm. You're at 1.04%. Team Dolvet. You're at 0.61%. Good job, gentlemen. Let's keep this weighing going. We've got Aaron from Team Jen and Jackie from Team Dolvet. Come on up. You. Let's go, Jackie. I expected a lot of myself this week, and I really tried to make up for my night away from the ranch. So I feel like Wonderland's tonight. Let's see how we did, Aaron. You're real close to that Wonderland, aren't I you? I know, girl? Bob. Just let, do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your previous weight was 205 pounds. Your current weight is... Let's see how we did, Aaron. You're real close to that Wonderland, aren't I you, I know, girl? Bob. Just let, do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your previous weight was 205 pounds. Your current weight is... Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. You're close, Aaron. You're close. Well, Jackie... Let's see if you got a big number on the scale, because you got everything else this week. <laughs> Jackie, your previous weight was 265 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 258 pounds. You lost seven yes. pounds this week. With the spa. With yes. the spa. Can we do that every week? <laughs> no, yeah. no. Excellent job. Team Jen, you're at 1.39%. Team Delvet, you're at 1.15%. Thank you, ladies. Okay, up next, Lauren from Team Jen. You're up next with Felicia from Team Delvet. Lauren, you gotta lose at least three pounds, Lauren, to get into Wonderland. Let's do it, Lauren. Let's see. Your previous weight was 202 pounds. Your current weight is. And there it is! Yes! And there it is! Your current weight is 199 pounds. You did it! Vicky, I know. I mean, you've got to be so emotional over this. It's your baby. 
I see her up there and she's so brave and she's so strong and she's just my hero. I mean, I'm just so proud. My mama and I have always seen eye to eye. And as a child, you just want to make them proud. And I didn't realize until tonight how important it is that she's with me here. Congratulations. Thank you. Felicia, your previous weight was 202 pounds. Remember, you got to lose at least three pounds to get into Wonderland. Your current weight is... 7 pounds. We've got two girls up here in Wonderland. Let's go. Let's look at your percentages. Team Jen, you're at 1.60%. Team Dolvet, you're at 1.69%. Way to go, Felicia. Just pulled ahead. Ladies, I definitely should be getting a spa day every week. <laughs> I hope you're listening to that. We're moving on. Vicky from Team Jen and Rob from Team Dolbeck. Come on up. Hi, Miss Vicky. Let's see how you did this week. Your previous weight was 205 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 202 pounds. You lost three pounds this week, Vicki. I've said before that number represents my best. May not be good enough to stay here, but it's good enough for me. So we'll just see what happens. Rob, your previous weight was 278 pounds. Your current weight is. Sixty-eight pounds. You lost ten pounds this week. That fifty-six-year-old body is really holding up. That's what I say. That's incredible. What would Sarah say if she was here right now? She would be proud. She'd say, "You go, Daddy." Let's see your percentages. Team Jen, one point eight one percent. Team Dovet. 2.45%. Congratulations. All right. It all comes down to this. Toy from Team Jen and Steven from Team Dolvet. First time, what seems like weeks, we are actually ahead in the percentages. You get up there and make me proud, you hear me? I am a numbers guy. I'm pretty much calculating in my head that Toy could put up like a 10 and I put up just a, a small number, we can maybe blow this. So I'm just hoping I don't choke. Steven, your current weight is. Wow. Another your current weight is 10 pounds. Oh, yeah. All right, Toy. How you feeling right now, girl? Um, as usual, very nervous because the scale hasn't been that great to me. It really never had before. So you decided not to use that one pound advantage. This would be a great time for you to hit that double digit that you've been looking for. I'm kind of starting to freak out a little bit. I mean, did I give Toy the right advice? Your previous weight was 282 pounds. Toy. In order to get yourself above that yellow line, you'll need to lose five pounds or more. Your current weight is. All right, Toy. In order to get yourself above that yellow line, you'll need to lose five pounds or more. Your previous weight? was 282 pounds. Your current weight is. Oh my God. 
Your current weight is 278 pounds. You lost four pounds this week. I mean, it definitely does not reflect everything I've done this week. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I've worked so hard. Um, I just, I'm speechless. I... Jen. Toy, you've trusted me, and I wanted your trust to show up on that scale. And I just want the opportunity to, to keep figuring this out with you. Well, let's look at the percentages. Team Delvet, your percentage is 3.22%. Team Jen, you're at 2.09%. Toy and Vicky, you have fallen below the yellow line, and one of you will be eliminated. This is the part that sucks. Toy, if you would have used that one pound advantage, you would have been above the yellow line. Oh. <sighs> I'm extremely worried. I realize at this point that me not using my one pound advantage was definitely a wrong decision. I feel like I failed you. <laughs> this competition is going to get more and more intense. Jen, Toy, I don't want to undermine your decision, but this is an important lesson. If you have an advantage, you have to use it. Every week here is too valuable. Every single day matters. Team Delvet, you're safe for another week. You can leave the way in. Jen, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to leave too. Toy, Vicky, one of you will be eliminated. We're all headed to the elimination room right now. I always told Lauren, I said, if we get into a situation where I'm below the yellow line with one of the children, of course, I'm talking about the ones young enough to be my children, I prefer to go home ahead of them. You know, I want Toy to stay. You guys have a very tough decision to make. Tonight, there are four people voting. In the event of a tie, the person with the lowest percentage of weight loss will be eliminated. In this case, it would be you, Toy. Lauren, we're going to start with you. Toy, you are such a wonderful person, but blood is blood, and you know I can't send my mama home. So that's why I voted for Toy. Aaron. It's a hard decision. I've worked side by side with Toy since the beginning, and for that reason, I'm voting for Vicky. Two votes left. Lewis. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. This young lady has mentioned that she's ready to go home, and that's the only reason I'm picking Vicky. Have you said that, Vicky? These children have been precious to me. And I've always told them if we go to elimination that I want to be the one to go. I think it's the right thing. Well, that's two votes for you, Vicky. One vote for you, Toy. It all comes down to Colby's vote. The power is all in your hands right now. I, I hate that it comes down to me. The person that, that I voted for is so strong. And gee, I hate to even take the top off this thing. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm sorry, Toy. You've been eliminated. Let me ask you a question. Does gameplay come into this decision? Because at its core, this is a game, and looking at these two women, Toy's gonna be harder to beat than Vicky when it comes down to winning this whole thing. Does that play a part in who you voted for? America might not like it. Team might not like it. But yeah, that's why I voted for Toy. So, Toy, I'm sorry to say that you're not the biggest loser, but you are eligible for that $100,000 at-home prize. So it's time for you to say goodbye to everyone on the team. I'm so sorry. This experience has been everything. For a long time, I was controlled by fear, and 
It just doesn't control me anymore. Point one faster, Toy. I got to work with Jed and Dolvet. Like, not a lot of people can say that. So, I mean, I have double the tools to take home. So I'm, you know, sad, but I'm excited. Vicky is still here, but that means Toy has gone home, and I feel like it's my fault. We chose not to use that growing pound. She didn't need it. How do you feel? Do you feel funny because people voted you in or out, I should say? No, I, I wouldn't have expected Erin to vote any other way. You know, her and Toy started out together. Louis was simply honoring something that I had said from the first week that I'd never wanted one of these children to be in elimination with me and to go home oh, man of me. They deserve this chance to have young families. I can't help but think I failed Toy. Um with Toy going home instead of me, I do feel I have a spot that someone else wanted. And I am obligated to make every minute here count and take advantage of it just like Toy was taking advantage while she was here. We have to move forward. I mean, and this is the opportunity to do so. Delvet's team is coming off a pretty successful week. This is the time to step up. beach and we see Bob. He looks like a nice little sail man. There's some buoys and then some rafts out in the water. I have no idea what we're doing. Hey y'all. Hey, hey Bob. 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 Last week you were tempted by some pretty amazing individual luxuries. This week we're gonna tempt you with a luxury for the entire team. Oh yeah. Ooh. And I'm guessing it may just float your boat. <laughs> but I'm bummed. The winner of today's challenge will have a chance to spend an entire day on that fabulous private yacht. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, my gosh. And you can feast your eyes on something special we had shipped in just for you. Letters from home. <gasps> oh. Yay! Yay. I know. What do you think, Jackie? Was that a prize worth fighting for? Unlike Team Jen, we've had no communication at all, so... We need this so bad. I know you're dying to read those letters, but just like any temptation, it comes at a price that could sink your chances in this game. If you choose to spend the day on that beautiful boat, you'll be locked out of the gym for the rest of the day. So the choice is yours. Letters from home or use of the gym. Here's how today's challenge is going to work. On my go, you're going to race down the beach and one at a time, pull in a boat that's 300 feet away. That's the length of an entire football field. On the rope, there are five buoys. Each of you has to pull in one of them and unclip an oar. Once your team has all five oars and your boat, you need to paddle out to the finish line. The first team to reach that finish line wins this challenge. So you guys ready? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Now I'm really nervous because Steve and I haven't talked to our kids in all seven weeks that we've been here. My kids are everything to me. So this is a prize I really, really want. I'm desperate to get these letters. Let's try not to fall down. We got this, guys. We got this. All right, guys, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> all right, here they go. It looks like they are neck and neck. Think about those letters from home. Team Dolvet is the first one to start pulling that buoy in. Hey, Roberto. We've got Roberto for Team Dolvet, and now we've got Lauren for Team Jen. Use those legs. Pull on. There you go. Who's going to be the first one to get their oar? Good, good, good. Keep going. You're almost there. Almost there. Looks like it's going to be Roberto. And Roberto's the first one to get his oar. You got it. Lauren, you better pick it up. Come on, Lauren. Pull, pull, pull. pull that buoy. There you go. Good job, good job, Lauren. Lauren, 
right behind him. Good job. And now, Aaron is the second player for Team Jen. Go, 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 go. You got it, Rob. Once we got to pulling and stuff, we forgot about the other team. Go get it. Our focus was to get those oars, get on the boat, and row, row your boat all the way down to the yacht. Come on, Rob, come on. Rod has got his oar for Team Dovet. Let's go, guys. All right, there we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And now Aaron's got that second oar. Now it's Vicky's turn for Team Jen. Pull, Mama. Pull, Mama, go. Use your leg. You got five more things. Four, three, pull, 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 pull. I'm just in the moment. I'm focused. I want those letters. I want to hear from my son, my daughter, my mom. Go, go, go. Good job, Steven. Steven has their third oar. Felicia is up for Team Don't Bet. You got it, Felicia. Come on, Mom. Vicky is still struggling. Come on, keep pulling all the way up. Vicky, you better pick it up. I'm just pulling and tugging, trying to get it in, but the rope is soaked with water, it's heavy, it's sticking in the sand, and it's tough. Vicky better be working harder, because Felicia's already got that fourth oar. Go, Jackie. And now Jackie from Team Dolvet. There you go, Mom. Oh, on the on the now go up, go up, go up, go up, Mom. You got it, Mama, come on. Come on, Jackie, come on, Jackie, run. Let's go, two for Carrie and Jack. Now Jackie's up. She's the last to go. One of the reasons we put her last is we thought she'd have the toughest time pulling in. But I could just feel the emotion in her pulls, and you could see the passion from just how hard she's trying. Go, 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 Jackie! Go, go, go. Good job, Jack. Go. Come on, Ma. There you go, Miss Vicky. Vicky finally gets her oar. Lewis, you gotta move! Jen has us roping in the gym all the time. So it's not a big deal. I'm prepared for this. Bring it on. All go, all go. Team Dovet has all five of their oars. They are pulling that boat out into the water. They want to get those letters from home. Turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. Felicia falls into her boat. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Colby. Team Jen has still got one more buoy to go. You have got to pick it up. I seem to always go last. I like being the anchor man, you know. I like having the pressure kind of put on me. And they got a pretty good lead on us, so we got to catch them. Come on, Rob. Rob's got to get in that boat. So does Roberto. Rob is in that boat. Come on. Come on, baby. Roberto is in that boat. Go, Frank, or something. We're turning the wrong way. Come on. Come on, Colby. Go, let's go. Colby gets the final oar for Team Jen. So Colby grabs his oar, and we're off into the water. And I feel like Baywatch running into the water, trying to get this boat unhooked. Unsnap it. Where's it at? We're turning the wrong way. Go left. We need more on the right. We need more on the right. The way it turns our boat back to shore. I jump out, and we straighten that bow out to the direction that we need it to go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. Uh, come on, Bert. Come on, Bert. Come on, Bert. Get the man. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Oh, there you go, there you go. So as soon as we're in the boat, I look up and here comes a huge wave. Oh, Whoa! Let's go, let's there go, go, let's go. There you go, there you go. Come on. You get... Team Jen, you gotta pick it up! Go, let's go. Oh, oh, no. No. Whoa! This wave looked like a freaking tsunami coming over the front of the boat. And it pushes us back. We're just a hot mess at this point. Come on, we gotta get him. Come on. Keep it steady. Stuck. We got Stay right. Stay towards the boat. The left side. Pull. Stuck. 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 Colby's in the back, standing up like Huckleberry Finn. And every time we're turning a little bit to the right, I'm like, Colby, I need you on the left. If we can just keep our boat straight, we can win. And if Colby keeps listening to me, we'll keep our boat straight. Team Jen is trying to catch up to Team Dolvet. Hard, this way. Come on. Jackie wants those letters from home. She's got the eye of the tiger right now. My heart is pounding, and all I can think about is, please, please, let's just get through this. Come on, guys, we're in. We got it, we got it. Keep going, I got it. Team Jen, you are still in this race. Go, go. Team Dolvet's about to cross that finish line. Finish all the way through to make sure. Do not stop. Go! Keep going! Go! We're almost Do not going. stop! Do not stop! And Keep going! Team Dolvet wins this challenge! Oh, yes. 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 I'm thinking, just give me the letters. They can have the yacht. Just give me the letters. That's all I want. Yes. Yes. 
emotions are overcoming me. I am just completely exhausted because I've tried so hard, and I can't wait to get to those letters. Congratulations, Team Dolbet. You just won this challenge. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I would love to get letters, but at the same time, I know how much my family loves me. I'm here to lose weight, and in the gym, every minute counts. All right, so the question is, are you going to hop aboard this luxurious yacht and get those letters from home, or are you going to keep the gym today? Bob, without a doubt, we are getting our letters from home. We've waited way too long. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Team Delvet, climb aboard. Team Jen, you can paddle back to shore. For the yacht, and what do I see first? My letters with my name on it. Oh, wow. Aw, you got letters. I'm on a yacht. I have letters from home. This is the best day ever. Thank you. We each grab our letters, and Roberto and Felicia and I adjourn to the lower level to open our letters. This is from my baby. Aww. Looks like Sarah. I want you to know you are loved, and our prayers are all with you. Sarah bragged and bragged. <laughs> On you. <laughs> she said, Daddy, <laughs> Daddy is a horse. <laughs> Sweetheart, if anyone knows what you are made of, I do. I don't know of another man who has worked so hard and been so faithful. To his family. Can't wait till you get home. Love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Today is my first day of kindergarten. <laughs> Jack <laughs> wants you to know he's fishing. Love. Aww. That is so sweet. You know, harder than the workouts, harder than the eating right, being away from the babies is the toughest thing. You just miss the squeezes and you miss hearing them and seeing their precious faces. So, you know, this is a little bit of home, so it helps. It's Jack. It's his first day. Of first day of school, how happy he is. You know, the, the, the saddest part for me seeing this picture is I'm their dad. I'm supposed to be there protecting them. And Jacob, he's five years old. And I just hope he doesn't think that I abandoned him. And then daddy's gone. I mean. <laughs> I'm here to be there with them. And I'm, I'm very proud of that. And, and the one thing that makes me even more proud is, is that they tell me that they're proud of me. And you know what? This is just the extra motivation that I needed. So I got a space to take pictures. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. How are you? How are How you are guys you? doing? Good. I'm just opening from Kaylee. Aw. Thanks for winning the challenge, guys. <laughs> this is from Whitney. Oh, oh. nice. <laughs> Says, hey girl, I can't believe that you've made it to week seven. That's insane. It was hard leaving the ranch, not being able to. <laughs> I'd read it if I could see through my tears. Oh. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> not being able to say longer than a 30 second goodbye. Keep moving forward, and as much as I miss you, I know you need to stay there to win. Oh. <laughs> I mean, after all, who else will pay for our first vacation as single skinny hotties? <laughs> let's enjoy what we have today, and then we got to hit the gym when we get back. But let's worry about the gym when we, we get, get back. back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we really worked hard and came together, and we wanted to celebrate. It was awesome. Do it, Dove. my behalf to talking sunshine <laughs> well i know we've got a workout looming but 
we're already past the halfway point in season and, and of course I'm thinking about what's it mean to be ready for home and oftentimes myself included when I'm on the run you're grabbing something that's maybe not the best for you for me I caught my snack stash so what are some of those on-the-go foods that you guys would eat before coming to Vegas Lizard candy bars okay candy bars well that being said I'm gonna try and give you guys some new options for your grab-and-go foods at home so I brought with me the Larbar cherry pie and cashew cookie Tell me what's in that uh, cherry pie larvae. I mean, it's literally three ingredients. Dates, almonds, and unsweetened cherries. And that's important too. The unsweetened means there's no sugar added into this. This is just exactly what it is. Just the fruit, just the nut and the spices. So I want you guys to try them and enjoy it. I'm in it. This was pretty good. Easy to grab and they're delicious. And I like that they're dense. You know, it's not a two bite bar. Well, on that note, you guys ready to go train? Let's yeah. Let's All right, go. let's roll. Grab your bars. I am willing. I am willing to push myself. To push myself. myself. To greatness. To greatness. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, if I know Dolvet, he wants a burn so that we can make up for what time we didn't have together in the gym. Let's go, Team Dolvet. Let's work, people. Let's work. I've been distracted for seven weeks. I have, but we got those letters, and now I feel like I can truly focus 100% on this workout. Let it go. Let it up. Come on, Steven. You got your letters. You got your strength. You got your mimosas? Seriously? <laughs> Get out of here. All right, here we go, guys. It starts now. Every second counts. With me and Mama, I mean, we were down in the bottom last week with Toy, so I'm just hoping that this week's a better week for me. One, two, back in, back in, go. Vicky, You know, I think this time is my time. I've just made great strides in the last seven weeks that I've been here. I am obligated to just really put my shoulder to the plow and make every minute here count. You know the movement, you know your work ethic, and you know your capacity. Execute. Do I deserve to be here? Yes, I deserve to be here. I've been working my butt off. I got a winner mentality, I'm sorry. I gotta keep going forward. Work hard, guys, work hard. Four, three, three, two, keep going. Ah, ah. I got three gorgeous kids saying, Daddy, keep going, keep working hard, and that's what gets me through. That gives me motivation to continue when I wanna quit. Don't you give up on me. Ah. What motivated me in this workout today is the weigh-in, is we wanna repeat. Go, go, go! I just wanna hit things as hard as I can. Lose your mind! Wonderland is waiting for you. So I made a promise to Jen a few weeks ago that when I make it into Wonderland, I was going to sing. It's kind of like a whole new Aaron that's kind of reemerged over the last couple weeks. This is everything. Stay on it. Stay with it. There we go. Look at that. I'm proud to be a singer, and I'm proud to be a songwriter. And when I hit Wonderland, I'm going to sing a song that I wrote that, you know, was important to me and hopefully can touch some other people here too i have battled all my life the thing that's got me through is i can remember my days like son sometimes you just need to put your head down and get through it now i'm trying to look up a little different outlook even for me this is your moment this is your time this is your opportunity change your life all right, guys, we did it. Another week in the books. That's seven weeks. Wow. Almost two months here. Just really good work today. I know this isn't easy. This is for you, Jen. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you, Jen, on three. One, two, three. Thank you, Jen! I needed that. My heart fluttered. Coming up. I wish I could crawl out of my own skin. How can you fight for something when you don't think you're worth fighting for? That's right. And later, <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those nights. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 How are you feeling? Great. Feeling good. good. I wanted to talk because I think it's really important for us to check in where we are seven weeks and to start focusing on the things that got you here, being more aware of why I am the way that I am. It goes back to why. Felicia, what do you feel like you've done to address why you're here? Finding healthy ways to express myself. Talk me through that. 
Well, my stepdad and I did not have a good relationship. It wasn't healthy. It was volatile. Um, Why was it volatile? I wasn't his kid, so of course he threw that in my face all the time. And he would do, like, just crazy things. You know, he'd give me $10 and take me to the store and then take the $10 away. I would make dinner for, like, my mom and him and my little brother, and he would throw it across the room or something like that. Did you use food as um, an outlet? I would get food and go in my room and stay in my room for the entire day. Being afraid. He kind of wanted to isolate everyone away from my mom. Um, and it worked, because at 13, I moved out and moved in with my sister. Where was your mother in this situation when it came to, like, being comforted? That's the mother's job. Yep. I remember being very upset that it was like she picked him over me. At that time, I mean, I'm just becoming a teenager. You need your mom. And I didn't have her. I mean, now my stepfather has passed away, and she's like, I don't know how I put up with that. I, I'm like, she apologizes all the time. But when she was in it, she just, she did not have the tools to know how to handle it. The reason why we talk about this is for you to be aware because you're in a place now, your, your, your senses are so heightened because you don't have, you don't have your foods to, to, to lean on, right? You don't have your foods to get you through this. Yeah. Are you in a relationship? No. No. <laughs> There's something in all of us, you know, we, we want to attach. We want to have a relationship. We want to have that partner. You know, my little boy's a godsend because he just, he filled that void that I had. But you had that with um, with your son's father at, at some point, yes? No, I don't, don't want to talk about him. Fair enough. I had my son by somebody that he didn't want a child and didn't want to be with me. And I know my son wants a dad. And we'll be walking into school and he'll just blurt out, well, why didn't my dad want to be with me? You know, I feel like it's my fault that he's having to live a life without a parent because of my problems and my issues. You really hold your cards real close, and you've got your guard up so high at all times. And, like, I relate to that. I understand that, because I'm a lot like that. But... I wonder what's stopping you from connecting more. I mean, there's times I wish I could crawl out of my own skin. That, that I mean, it's just that uncomfortable for me. And when people touch me, I just kind of, you know, I'm just not comfortable in this body. You have made this, this barrier. Don't touch me. Stay away from me. I'm just suspicious of people that love me because... Because I can't even love me. Yeah. Your daughter is stuck. She's been in this place for a long time. You know, she's always just kind of internalized things. You know, as a parent, you kind of feel like you fail. What could you say to her to help her in any way? You need to be Lauren's biggest advocate because when you talk bad about Lauren, that warrior that's inside hears it and it's lessened because of it. And you deserve better, and Caleb deserves better. How can you fight for something when you don't think you're worth fighting for? That's right. That's right. There's a demon in you, and he's a liar. He is a liar, feeding your head with all these negative thoughts. Right. It's time to stand up to him. It's time to start thinking the way your mom thinks about you. You got to believe in yourself. Because if you don't believe in yourself, who else is ever going to believe in you, right? I'm done with the demons. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. We lost the way in by so much last week, but everybody's kind of stepped it up, and I really think that we can pull out this win. Tonight, it is game on. No one has an advantage. It is just two teams going head to head.
right here and right now. Jen, last week I said it's not enough to just show up. You've got to deliver. You think your team has delivered this week? We didn't just lose last week. We got crushed by that team. And I was like, I need to know that your investment meets mine. It was much more dire. I think that's the approach this week. So let's start this way in. All right, tonight there's a yellow line. Miss Felicia, we're going to start with you and Vicky. Miss Vicky, oh my God, you're so close to Wonderland. Would that be your birthday wish? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I would love to go under that 200 wire. You're going to need to lose three pounds to get into Wonderland. So let's see, your previous weight was 202 pounds. Your current weight is... 50. You're going to need to lose three pounds to get into Wonderland. Yep. So let's see. Your previous weight was 202 pounds. Your current weight is. Let's go, Vic. Vicky, your current weight is 198 Woo! pounds. You lost four pounds. Yay. Felicia, your previous weight was 195 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 191 pounds. You lost four pounds this week. Dovet, four pounds? That's a very solid number. I'm very happy with that. Let's look at the percentages. Team Jen, your team percentage is 0.35%. Team Delvet, your team percentage is 0.32%. Great job, ladies. All right, next we're going to weigh in Rob from Team Delvet. And Lauren from Team Jen. All right, Rob, let's see how your week was. Your previous weight was 268 pounds. Your current weight is. Your current weight is 262 pounds. You lost six pounds this week. Go bet how you feeling about six pounds? Strong. So, I mean, we came off the 10. I'll take that six solid, solid number. Definitely. Hi, Lauren. How are you feeling right now, girl? Um, I'm feeling a lot better. I mean, especially after our talk, when you said that voice in your head, he is a liar. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make it a habit of listening, not just to the negativity that comes out of people, but to the positivity that comes out about me. <laughs> I'm hugging you. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> that is a big deal. Wow. Good for you, Elle. <laughs> Good for you. I mean, this is a turning point for you, and I'm so glad that that resonated. It makes me really happy. All right. Your previous weight was 199 pounds. Your current weight is... Your current weight is 194 pounds. You lost five pounds. Feeling good? I mean, I kind of hope for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, five's good. Five's good. Like three or four weeks. <laughs> All right, team percentages. Team Dolvet, 0.79%. Team Jen, wow. 0.8%. Wow. 
Cray cray. Don't even just. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights. Yeah. Oh, I'm so shocked. Next, we're going to weigh in Lewis from Team Jen and someone you might know, <laughs> Roberto <laughs> from Team Dolvet. Come on, buddy. This weigh-in is getting way too close for comfort. You know, people are going up there, they're throwing similar numbers. It's scary right now. Roberto, your previous weight was 283 pounds. Your current weight is... 276. Your current weight is 276 pounds. You lost seven pounds this week. All right, Liz. Your previous weight was 250 pounds. Your current weight is... 200. Your current weight is 244 pounds. You lost six pounds. Let's look at your team percentages. Team Delvet, your team percentage is... 1.35%. Team Jen, your team percentage is... 1.33%. It's tight. We've got a horse race tonight. Yes, sir. Next, we're going to weigh in Stephen from Team Dolvet. <laughs> and Mr. Colby from hey, Team hey. Jen. Hey. All right, Stephen, your previous weight was 259 pounds. Your current weight is... 1.95%. I'm definitely nervous because my name is below that yellow line. So I feel like I'm at risk of going home. Oh my goodness. It's not a good feeling. I gotta say, these weigh-ins are just neck and neck. It all comes down to Jackie and Aaron. I am going up to the scale versus Aaron. I know that we are in a deficit right now and I need to pull a big number. You know, I'm coming off a fabulous week. I've reconnected with my kids through the letters. I'm feeling really positive. And this is my turn to get out there and show everybody what I've done and hopefully pull it out for my team. All right, Jackie, your previous weight was 258 pounds. Your current weight is... Your current weight is 251 pounds. You lost seven pounds this week. It's damn impressive. And she beat me as usual. Delvet. Strong number, Jackie. Very proud of you. Thank right? you, Delvet. Let's look at your team percentages, Team Delvet. Your team percentage is 2.38%. see if that's good enough. Aaron, how you feeling, babe? I made a promise to Jen that if I hit Wonderland, I'm going to sing a little song. So I feel like tonight might be the night. To keep your team safe, you will need to have lost five pounds or more. Okay. Five pounds is right there. I put in the work for it. The math adds up. Your previous weight was 200 pounds. Your current weight is... 5 pounds or more. Your current weight is... You lost one pound this week. Let's see your team percentage. 2.04%. I'm sorry, Team Jen, you've lost the way in I really, really wanted to pull this one out, so I'm sorry. 
we lose the way in. And I'm below the yellow line. I've been so positive and feeling powerful, and I feel so powerless in this moment. <laughs> it is no small feat to get back to this number. Be happy with that, Wonderland. That's a really big deal in this house. Will you still sing for us? As much as I wanted to inspire everybody else with a song, I kind of have to lift myself up with a song. I never felt so low. Watched my dreams go out the window. Pulled me in, made me cave. Broke me down and time slipped away. You never make it, that's all my conscience said to me, yeah. How am I supposed to believe I could ever Saying that you had enough, I know it's painful, baby, but you gotta trust that one day you can make it out of the darkness. Oh, you can make it out of the darkness. Yeah, man. That was incredible. I don't think there's a person in this room that didn't take something from that song. Aaron, you're stunning. Thank you. You're stunning. <laughs> well, Aaron, no matter what, you definitely look like you're coming out of the darkness to me. Thank you, ladies. Congratulations, Team Delvet. You won superstar. two weigh-ins in a row. I think I'm a superstar. Aaron, I'm sorry to say that you have fallen below the yellow line with Vicky. Vicky, this is your second week in a row, falling below the yellow line. Last week, I didn't want to see a young player go home ahead of me. All right, Jen, it's time for you to say goodbye to your team. Thank you. This week, I have realized that I am supposed to be here. I deserve to be here. I was chosen to be here. If black team votes for me to stay here, then it's the right decision. I'm the last person on the team that used to be on Team Dolbet. I don't know if, if I earned my spot on the team. I don't know if this one pound that I lost tonight shows that I can pull my weight. It's time to find out who's going home. Vicky, Aaron, there are three people voting. It will take two to get eliminated. And Lauren, we're going to start with you. You know, I have loved getting to know you. But I can't send my mama home. All right, Aaron, that's one vote for you. If you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. Lewis? Um, it's, it's a hard choice. But I had to really take a step back and figure out which person is going to be able to help the team succeed in the future. Miss Vicky. Vicky, that's one vote for you. Just like last week. It all comes down to Colby. This is like a terrible position. Oh, wait. I believe in this person and she believes in me. And I can only think about how excited that little grand boy's gonna be to see her. <laughs> Vicky, that's two votes for you. I'm sorry to say that you've been eliminated. It's all right. I can't believe that I blasted this one. <laughs> I cannot believe it, but I'm going to be so hot at the finale. Well, Vicki, I'm sorry to say that you're not the biggest loser, but you are eligible for that at-home prize of $100,000, and I believe that you will come back looking hot. <laughs> it's time for you to say goodbye. This experience has added so much to my life, I don't even know where to start. I hope I never forget how difficult it's been. Oh, 
apologize. <laughs> I'm probably most proud that I came here and I did something that was incredibly hard and incredibly painful. And I'm just so proud of that. America, the next time you see me, I'll be healthy, happy, active, fit, and smoking. I will be so fine. Hey everyone, it's Toy. When I started with The Biggest Loser, I was 316 pounds. Today, I am 259 pounds. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. The way in it tonight. My journey on The Biggest Loser was one that was necessary. I should have had my life together. Before The Biggest Loser, I would not discuss the loss of my son. It was just a topic that we didn't talk about. I realized that holding on to guilt and pain can kill you quicker than the weight can. You're here for a reason. To stand up. When I decided to live again, it was just so freeing. To see her come to this point to fight for her life, and I'm, I'm so supportive of her. This just makes me so proud right now. I just knew you were an angel from birth, and now you have your wings. And Mommy has her wings, too. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Vicky. When I started The Biggest Loser, I weighed 237 pounds. Today I weigh 177 pounds for a total weight loss of 60 pounds. Woo! My experience on The Biggest Loser was tough. It was very painful. It's gonna be okay, baby. You're great. <laughs> Since I got home from the ranch, our family is just living a healthier lifestyle. One of the things you can do with avocado is just use a spoon and pop it out. Supporting each other, sharing nutritional information, sharing workout information, tips. I mean, it's just a great environment to be in. Guys, I'm so excited for our workout. One of the coolest things about being on the ranch was a free membership to Planet Fitness. I'm working out with my family. I'm working out with my children. It's a lot of fun to work out with my mom and her be able to keep up with us. She pushes us, too. There's a lot of things that she runs circles around us doing, and so it kind of keeps everybody motivated. The one thing that I've learned from this experience is that I have to be my biggest advocate. Just back in the driver's seat of my life, Vicky certainly got her groove back, and it's just great. For two brothers, a return home will give new motivation. I've missed my family so much. I'm ready to go. But next Monday, it's brother versus brother in a fight for immunity for their teams. I can't let my team down. New Biggest Loser, next Monday, 9, 8 central on NBC.